Let's now have the last topic for functions, which is the composite functions. So we have here f of g of x or f of g of x. Some read this as f circle g of x. And you also have g of f of x, which is also could be written as g of f of x. Okay, let's have here the given functions f of x which is equal to 4x plus 1, g of x equal to 2x, and h of x which is equal to x squared. And we are asked to find for f of g of x. So the first thing that you're going to do is to look at the given. So what is, what is the function inside the parentheses? Okay, it's g of x and we are going to substitute the value of g of x which is 2x. Substituting the value, just copy f. So we have f of 2x. Now, look at the function f. So you have there the variable x. So what are you going to do is to substitute 2x to the variable x of the function f. Substituting 2x, we'll have 4 multiplied 2, 2x, plus 1. Now, simplifying this function, we have 4 multiplied to 2x, which is equal to 8x, and then we have positive 1. And that is the answer for f of g of x. For the next example, we are asked to find 4 g of f of x. Again, look at the function inside the parenthesis, which is f of x. So now we will substitute f of x, copy g. So we have g of 4x plus 1. Now look at the function g. So you have there the variable x. Again, we are going to substitute the value of f of x to the variable of the function g. Substituting the value, so we'll have 2 multiplied to 4x plus 1. So as you can notice, it is in the form of the function g. Now, to simplify this, we'll have to distribute, we'll have to distribute 2. So we have 2 multiplied to 4x, which is equal to 8x. And then 2 multiplied to 1, which is equal to positive 2. And that is the final answer for g of f of x. Okay, for the third example, we are asked to find for age of g of x. Again, look at the value or look at the function inside the parenthesis and then let's substitute it. So copy h, then the value of g of x, which is 2 x and now let's look at the function h so it has the variable x and we are going to substitute 2x in that variable substituting 2x will have 2x quantity squared so as you can notice it is in the form of the function h now distributing the exponent 2 will have 4x squared and that is the final answer for h of g of x. <clears throat> okay, for the fourth example, let's have f of h of x. Let's substitute the value inside the, the function inside the parenthesis, which is x squared. Then let's copy f, substituting the value of h of x, x squared. Now, let's look at the function f. It has a variable x, and we are going to substitute x squared in that variable. So we'll be having 4, substituting x squared, 4 times x squared plus 1. Now, we are going to multiply 4 by x squared, so we'll have 4x squared plus 1. And that is the answer for f of h of x. For the fifth example, we'll have g of h of x. Copy g, substituting the value of h of x, which is x squared. Now look at the function g. 
So we have there the variable x. So we're going to substitute x squared in that variable. So we'll have 2 multiplied 2 x squared. Now multiplying 2 and x squared, we'll have 2x squared. And that is the answer for g of h of x. And for the last example, for this give, for the given functions, we'll have f of g of h of x. So this might look a bit uh, difficult, but it's not. So again, the first, the rule is to substitute what is the value of the inner function. So the inner function here is h of x. Substituting the value of h of x, we have x squared. And we're just going to copy the outside function. So we're, we're just going to copy f of g, substituting h of x, which is x squared. So what are we going to do now is to solve first for g of x squared. So to, to solve this, we're just going to copy first f. So to solve this, we're just going to substitute x squared in the function g. Substituting it, we'll have 2 multiplied 2 x squared. Now simplifying, 2 multiplied to x squared, we'll have 2x squared. Then again, you're just going to copy f. Now, we only have f of 2x squared. So, meaning to say, we are going to substitute 2x squared to the variable x of the function f. Substituting 2x squared, we'll have 4 multiplied 2, 2x squared, then we have plus 1. To simplify this, we are going to multiply 4 and 2x squared, so we'll have 8x squared, then we still have plus what? And that is the answer for f of g of h of x. Okay, let's now have the next example given the functions h of x which is equal to 7 plus x, p of x which is equal to x squared minus 3, and c of x which is equal to 3x. And we are asked to find for h of p of x. Again, substitute the value of the inner value of the inner function, I mean. So we have copy h, substituting p of x, we'll have x squared minus 3. Now we are going to substitute x squared minus 3 to the value of the function, to the variable of the function h. So we have 7 plus substituting x squared minus 3 to x. So we have 7 plus x squared minus 3 then let's eliminate the parentheses so we'll have 7 plus x squared minus 3 and then let's write let's um, combine like terms which are negative 3 and positive 7 so we'll write x squared first so we have x squared then we have 7 minus 3 which is equal to positive 4 and the final answer is x squared plus 4. Next, we are to find for p of c of x. Copy p, then substitute the value of c of x, which is equal to 3x. Now we have p of 3x. Now we are going to substitute 3x to the variable x of the function p. Substituting 3x will have... 3x quantity squared minus 3. Distributing the exponent, we'll have 3 raised to 2, which is equal to 9. x raised to 2, which is equal to 9x squared. Then we have negative 3. And the final answer for p of c of x is 9x squared minus 3. The third one, we are to find for c of h of x. Copy the function c, then substituting h of x, we have 7 plus x. So we're going to substitute, substitute 7 plus x to the variable of the function c. So we'll have 3 multiplied 2, 7 plus x. And distributing 3, 
So, 3 times 7, we have 21. Plus, 3 multiplied 2, x will have 3x. And, to write this formally, we'll have 3x plus 21. And that is the final answer. And for the last example, we'll have h of c of p of 1. Okay, to find for this example, we are to copy first h of c. And we'll work with the inner function, which is p of 1. So, so to solve for p of 1, so what are we going to, to, to do is to substitute 1 to the function p. Substituting 1, we'll have 1 squared minus 3. And now, to simplify that, let's just copy again h of c. Sub simplifying 1 squared minus 3, we'll have 1 minus 3. Simplifying again, we'll have h of c of negative 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. And now we have h of c of negative 2. So let's work again with the inner function. So we have c of negative 2. So meaning to say we are going to substitute negative 2 to the variable of the function c. Substituting it, let's just copy again h. So substituting negative 2 to the function c will have 3 multiplied to negative 2. Simplifying this, we'll have h of 3 multiplied to negative 2, which is equal to negative 6. And lastly, we have h of negative 6. So we're just going to substitute negative 6 to the variable of the function h. Substituting negative 6, we'll have 7 plus negative 6. And 7 plus negative 6 is equal to positive 1. And that is the answer for h of c of p of 1. Thank you for listening and I hope that you learned. Thank you for listening and I hope that you learned.